Hi everyone, I'm Joanne Elphinstone and today I'm coming back to movement is not the same as exercises. And the example I have for you this time is a patient of mine who has been recovering from quite a severe back injury. He's come to me because he's struggling to get back into dynamic movement. He tells me that it's difficult to land from a jump or to change direction and he wants to go back to a multi-directional sport. He says his back hurts when he tries to change direction. So I do a little test with him and I look at the direction which doesn't cause him pain and he steps into a side lunge and comes back again. And then when I look at him go the other way, I see him step, lock the hip, body goes forward. So what's the problem and how am I going to address it? Am I going to be doing something to the spine to stop that happening? Or am I going to go to the root of the problem, which is the hip? Yeah. So he has enough hip mobility, but what he doesn't know how to do is release the hip in the sagittal plane so that he can carry his body down to the ground and back out again. If he cannot do that, the problem isn't just in the absorbing of force as he goes laterally, but also in being able to move himself in the opposite direction. If I'm able to actually break in the hip, to carry my trunk relatively vertically, it means that I can now load all of these posterior muscles here. If instead I block the hip and do it in the trunk, I no longer store energy in this area and cannot release it. I have to use my back to lever myself back in the opposite direction. This is stressful. So what is the solution? It's not complicated. It's, can I find this vertical hip release? Can I pulse it? Can I step across into it and then press out from it so that the, from the hip to the foot is doing the work and the trunk is being carried down and back up again without effort. So we're looking at where is the issue, getting the right body part to the right place at the right time and how do we take pressure off the area that is under stress? If this is a way that's interesting for you to think, then please join us on one of our clinical online learning mentor programs. Uh, check it out under Learn Gems on gemsmovement.com. See you then.